my name is Tonya Sell, and I am going to share with you a project for Donna Downey and Find Out Fridays. I got my box from Donna Downey Studios. We'll be looking inside to see what we can do with these goodies. We're looking to discover what Donna sent us for Find Out Fridays. There's Golden Fluid Acrylics in Manganese Blue, Dr. Martin's Bombay India Ink in White, this lovely graphite crayon from Lyra, and an awesome brayer. My first inclination is to use a very limited palette with the blues and whites and create a muted winter landscape scene. It reminds me of winter here in Wisconsin. I'd like to challenge myself and see if I can just use these materials to create my piece. Golden Fluid Acrylics Manganese Blue. Dr. Martin India Ink in White. The Lyra Graphite Crayon. And our brayer. I want to give my acrylic paint a good shape and then put it in dots on my glass and then spread it around with my brayer. How much paint I put or how much pressure I put will affect the pattern that will be created. I can use my finger or the brayer itself as a mark making tool. Just have fun with it. Experiment trying different ways, layering textures and making patterns with your brayer and the paint. If I put the paint on thicker and press hard and pull it off slowly, you'll see it makes a very interesting pattern on the glass and thus on the paper. You'll build up a unique dimensional texture this way. I'm keeping myself to a very limited palette, but here you can see the drama that could be created by working in contrasting colors. I guess I must not be in a landscape mood because I am seeing a face here. I'm going to take my graphite crayon and just pull that face out from the background of pattern. I'm just drawing very gesturally, loose, trying to find that form. The graphite introduces just another beautiful tone to this background. Now I'm just going to paint some areas with water and put drops of my India ink into the wet surface and let it spread. Your paper needs to be quite wet for this to work and you need to allow it to dry but you can get some very interesting patterns that develop this way. Now I'm just going to pick up some ink with my large brush and do some light washes over the surface building out the structure of the face. The India ink is light fast and waterproof. It's nice too because it will hold a line without spreading. As with just about everything I do, I start very loose and I slowly get more and more refined. By simply mixing the white India ink with my manganese blue, I can get a variety of color within my color, while still staying true to my icy blue palette. I apply the paint thin, like watercolor, and more opaque, thickly on the paper. Variety always adds interest and depth. I use my graphite to just make interesting marks. It's very unusual for me to have a drawing tool that isn't broken into multiple pieces. I prefer this. If I have a complete tool, it doesn't stay complete very long. I was attempting to resist the temptation to use other materials, but I am going to give in and try some stencils added. I'm going to use them in a very minimal way. I'm going to take my sponge brush and just add a little bit of the India ink through my stencils. I like the additional texture that it brings on the face and into the hat or hair or whatever we decide it is.
I've decided I want a little more detail in the face and markation and adding some color into the face. So I am going to the Derwent Ink Tense and I can take this highly pigmented pencil and hit it with water, adding more marks and variety of color within that face, still in the family of blue. The color I'm using here is dark aquamarine. The great thing about the ink tents is they're highly pigmented and when I hit them with water they become permanent. And they mix beautifully with my paints. I'm just going to continue to work, develop my form, work out my details, getting more and more refined. I don't think I'll bring this to a very developed level. I consider it more of a sketch and a study, but it's a great exercise. I like to move through a textural background and decide what I want to edit, what I want to save, what I want to eliminate, what I want to change. It's really a good challenge, a good discipline to just force yourself to make those decisions. It really allows the drawing itself to come to life. It feels like you just sort of help it along. If you just feel like you're sort of stuck and you can't come up with an idea, this is a great way to start. Just start with a bunch of texture and pattern on your page and see what develops, see what emerges. Experiment and try new things that you've never tried before. Try combinations of things that are new to you. It's really good to get out of your comfort zone. You can use the applicator from the Dr. Martin ink itself as a tool. You can squeeze it on with the applicator and it will hold its form so it will actually give you dimensional marks on your paper. You can leave them as they are or you can take a brush or brush with a little bit of water and move them around on the page. Just be aware that the ink dries quite quickly. I feel like I need a little more of a cool blue mixed with my ultramarine and I'm going to add a little bit of white with a colored pencil. So the dark cool blue that I've added is called Lagoon and it's from Derwent and it is an Inktense pencil. I'm also going back in with my graphite. I really like the muted quality that it adds. Probably one of the hardest things to do in a study like this is to decide when to quit. <laughs> when are you done? I usually just get away from it for a little while and come back to it. And if there's nothing that stands out as being real obviously problematic, then I'll call it done but I certainly won't promise not to rework it in the future. <laughs> so we will call this one done for now. As a fellow artist, I really encourage you to explore new materials, experiment with different products. It's so good for you to try new things and get out of your comfort zone and just have fun. Play with materials and enjoy. So thanks for joining me for this segment of Find Out Fridays for Donna Downey Studios. I hope you take advantage and try some of these great materials. I know Donna will be happy to help you find just what you need. Follow this link to find out more about my work. 
Thanks for joining us.